my best purchases of year 2019. Please guys, stay with me. Hello ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for clicking on this video. Today I want to share with you my best purchases of year 2019. I love fashion, I'm absolute junkie for fashion. If you follow my channel, you know that already. But despite my love for fashion, despite my love for luxury items, at the back of my head, I always remember, is it a good purchase? Is it a good value for the money spent? And today I wanna share with you my items that I truly believe worth every penny. I used a lot and in my very, very humble opinion, I did the good choice. So, shall we start? The item number one that I purchased last year, and it's pretty much, you know, the, the first purchase of that year, it was my CDC bracelet uh, from Hermes. And I used this item so much, I couldn't even count number of times that I used it, and it pretty much goes with everything. So it's money really well spent. I highly recommend if you're still considering this item, if you're thinking should you buy it or not, I highly, highly recommend. I got this item in Epsom leather and a top color. So this is very, very neutral color. I absolutely love it and have no regret, absolutely zero regrets of purchasing. And in fact, in my wish list video, I'm gonna link it at the, uh, in the description box. I put this item as my wish list for the next, like this year, 2020. And I definitely wanna get it in black color. So item number one, my CDC bracelet. Item number two, it's my Louis Vuitton belt. And this belt is reversible. So if you think of something like that, adding to your collection, I highly recommend. And lately Louis Vuitton, they came with several different options. There is a square buckles, round buckles, uh, like, you know, solid buckle, like you can see, um, like, you know, just like that. I think they call this Louis uh, style of the buckle. The, the same, there is the same hoops they were actually on my wish list as well so um i got this item in uh, black and monogram and the number of times that i use this belt is oh my god i used it with the dress it i used it with the denim i used it with the skirt you name it i use this item so very very much and i see no visible uh, damage or anything absolutely perfect condition so if you're thinking of a louis vuitton belt in reversible options i highly highly recommend my next item is a uh, custom jewelry from uh, chanel and this is my uh, chanel necklace so this is the in meteor dart collection this item is absolutely gorgeous it has kind of egyptian writing and tiny tiny crystal all over um i don't have any problem the 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 color of the gold is kind of like champagne so it's pretty much can go with the silver and with the, any other um, gold um, hardware handbags so i use it so very much and i like when there is a versatility of the item and this item i can wear it short almost like a choker style just like that or the long style so i use this item so very much especially uh, during the summer month it pretty much goes with everything and um, you know i have no regrets especially in the summertime it's so sparkly and also another extremely important point that the, the price point of this necklace is very very reasonable usually comparing to um you know chanel uh, custom jewelry so i truly believe i spend my money quite well on this um, necklace so the next item i th truly believe is a good purchase it was my manolo balonic shoes uh it's manolo balonic hangizi and i got them in a blue tweed it's almost like chanel inspired blue tweed they go absolutely perfect with any denim the the the, the buckle is so beautiful and so sparkly and i got them once again on sale so um you know 
I got major deal on these shoes and have no regrets whatsoever. I use them already a lot. Um, the only one thing I should say, um, it took me a little bit of while to break them because uh, I was like, the first day I was wearing them at the end of the day, I was already limping. Uh, but now they're quite comfortable and the, the heel is um, 85 millimeters or 80 i cannot recall exactly i believe it's 80 or 85 so it's very very um wearable you know so when they get comfortable they actually very very wearable so really nice purchase the next purchase i believe really good purchase it's my uh, gucci shoes these shoes are limited edition so when they were normally came to the um you know gucci website they were extremely expensive i believe they're about like 1500 or something or even 1600 in canadians so i got them in outlet mall they were last pair in outlet mall and i got them 50 percent off so i got major deal on these shoes and they're absolutely spectacular it's it's the shoes that you don't see every single day and they're kind of like blue color with the almost like a baby pink ballerina pink and inside there is um lots of flowers but you don't see those flowers they look like very busy but when you actually put them on you don't see any of those flowers so they look like very very classy and the bottom once again pink you can see i wore them already a lot and i'm thinking i should go to cobbler and maybe uh, if it's possible try to do kind of like a pink bottom if i could find somebody that could manage that for me so absolutely absolutely love these shoes very very comfortable anytime i wear them i definitely receive at least one compliment at least one otherwise when i'm going inside the store everybody goes gaga for these shoes they go like oh my gosh love your shoes where did you get them absolutely love the shoes and um, they're special they're definitely a special purchase the next purchase is my uh, Fendi X Lite and this is maybe not uh, a common opinion uh, because you know usually um, Fendi Picapoo doesn't really hold the value very well. Uh, Fendi X Lite is not even well known yet. It's a new style of the handbag for Fendi but I personally love this handbag and I used it a lot and uh, let me tell you I have this handbag pretty much almost like a year because it was my pretty much first purchase of year 19 uh, 2019 and i use it a lot and uh, it holds the shape holds the uh, the leather is in absolutely pristine condition i have no regrets whatsoever and i purchased also the additional strap i purchased it at uh, farfetch and uh, once again right now i noticed the farfetch selling this truck for much more money than i got it so it's definitely a good purchase of this year my fendi x Lite and my fendi uh, strap so really uh, very very happy with this purchase in year 2019. my next purchase that i truly believe great value for the money it's my chanel Coco handle and this Chanel Coco handle is um, they call it dark beige color it's kind of more um, um, a top uh, of the beige it's a little bit cooler color not as um, yellow once again maybe the camera didn't really transfer color quite well but I absolutely love it um, and the important point of this specific uh, edition that it comes with the lizard embossed handle and I have a little bit fear or phobia of any kind of reptiles like you know snakes and um, lizards and such um, but this one is actually cowhide leather and it's lizard embossed so I have no problem of touching it so and it's like very very beautiful and definitely more durable because you don't get any scaling of the um, leather and the price point of this handbag for the Chanel is exceptional because I remember I got this handbag 4700 Canadian which is most likely going to translate somewhere I don't know what is in American they were selling but most likely it's under four thousand dollars American for this kind of handbag I think it's exceptional and I love that the strap is detachable so you can wear it casually you can wear it uh, more dressy etc etc so this handbag is 
price versus the look versus the detailing um, versus the quality is absolutely exceptional and this was also um, caviar leather and this type of the caviar leather the, that specific season they came it's almost with the sheen so they said it's actually very very durable but it's also softer than normal caviar leather so the time will show how it's gonna wear but i really really love this handbag and extremely happy that i got it my last definitely not least um you know purchase of this year that i am so glad that i got it it's definitely out of my comfort zone big time big time out of my comfort zone but i'm so glad that i conquer my almost fear of impracticality and this is my chanel mini reissue in metallic i think they call it emerald color oh my gosh this handbag is so beautiful in person it's like it, it's it's undeniable beauty and what i love also about this handbag first and most because it has four grommets so obviously you can do the shoulders or you can do the crossbody or uh, short shoulders or long shoulders the other things I love about this handbag is combination of the hardware and leather. It's kind of like, you know, very, very dressy, emerald green. And then you see that kind of distressed retinium hardware. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I still have the, the plastic um, uh, sticker over there. So guys, please don't judge me. And I, oops, <laughs> I absolutely, you can see how heavy the chains, they kind of pull in the handbag uh, back. And what I love also about this handbag, because normally um, reissue is kind of softer, but this one is, so this is the ship skin. It's very, very durable it's very structured and if they're gonna come up with the idea of this handbag again not necessarily in metallic and any like you know other colors but in sheep skin or goat skin I love also goat skin from Chanel but more of the um, you know kind of heart shape uh, style I will definitely get my second uh, reissue mini I, I love this handbag I really do love it's absolutely gorgeous so I think this is my best purchasers of year 2019. I definitely want to know your opinion of my best purchases for this year. What do you think? Do you think I did good or not so good? Do you like them or you dislike them? Do you have any feedback about the items that I already have? Maybe you have these items in your collection. Please put all your comments below. I definitely love to read your comments. Thank you very much guys for watching. I definitely hope to see you again on my next video and I guess until our next meeting. Bye bye!